All right, Guillaume again with uh, Midwestern Gardeners, and today we're going to be uh, transplanting some of these fig trees that I got. These these right here are my uh, LSU Gold, and I'm going to first just kind of work these out of here out of this bucket. Ah, I got some nice roots there, and then I'm going to put this in here so I don't lose the dirt. I'm going to shake them apart. All right. There we go. Good stuff. All right, so got this. Now, I'm gonna add a little soil here to the bottom of my pot. It's a two gallon pot. I'm gonna put that in there like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some more soil here. And I'm just gonna start shaking it over that. It has plenty of room. There we go. And then I'm going to put some uh, water on it in just a second. Go ahead and press pause. All right. Good. So one other thing I'm going to do, I have uh, a gallon here of water. I've already watered it down a little bit just to get the ground moist. But uh, in order to prevent shock, I have uh, a normal adult size aspirin tablet, crushed to powder, mix it with a gallon of water, and it's going to get that nice, good and wet, go over the boat, over the roots, and that way it will help to prevent the shock. And of course, I guess we'll see in a few days whether that actually works or not, but I saw a lot of good uh, reports on it from other people who certainly know more than I do. I'm just going to pause that. Uh, Dr. Gowdy, and basically going to do the same thing here. Just up the dirt there so I can pull these guys out. Not hurting to leave the root structure too much. Alrighty. Ooh, look at that root there. Beautiful. Start spinning around the bottom a little, a little harder to get these guys apart, it looks like. Alrighty. Well, we're going to take some of this good right here and put it on the bottom. It's already there. And shake that root above it. Add some water to get it down, settle the dirt. Clear off the leaf there. And put some of this. Around the bottom there, and then we're going to add some more again, more of the aspirin water here, so it doesn't go into too much shock. Hey. Okay, this is um, another one. It's called uh, we call it the Godfather fig. Uh, don't know exactly what type of fig it actually is, but supposedly the cuttings are from one of their two original. Uh, fig trees that were on the uh, set of the Godfather. So um, I'm looking forward to see what these produce. It's just fun fig to uh, be able to say you have. And let's again take these out. Just nice roots there in the bottom. We got several of these that are looking really good. I'm untangling a little bit. Probably one of their problems with doing it that way, having more than one. Uh, but you just never know how many are going to survive. And that way, you know you get at least one of them that's going to survive it. Uh, it's going to actually grow. All right, so again, we put it in there. And grab some more dirt. Add it to there. Like so. Give it a good douse of water to moisten. Plant in the dirt, and then again we're going to follow it up with the aspirin water. And let's put that aside. So that's that's going to be the Godfather figs, and I'll be back to finish this as soon as I finish the rest of these Godfather figs here. Okay, 
Okay, so here's my LSU Tiger I just put out today. He's a little wilty, I guess. It was a nice, really sight, bright sunny day, first day out, uh, but I well watered him. And uh, we'll see how he's doing. This is my Japanese plum. It's starting to come up. I think the other ones were over fertilized. This is my Smith. This was an extra uh, Japanese plum that was uh, sent to me and the package that I got. I only bought two and they, they sent me four. So I'm really lucky about that. Okay, let's see what we did with the rest of these. Okay, so these are my two Dr. Gowadis, my godfathers here. Um, this here is. Oh, like I said, I guess it's, it's a godfather too. These are the LSU Golds. Got a lot of LSU Gold here. This is my LSU Purple. Another LSU Purple. Uh, my LSU Hollisters. And my LSU Scots. These guys are looking really good. So, if all these uh, take root and don't die from being transplanted, I'll be thick in figs. <laughs> Alrighty, strawberries aren't quite coming up yet. Here's my bay leaf tree again. Alright guys, we'll see y'all later.